very special say, here, you gotta do it with me. We're gonna count to three. One, okay. two, three. Say, say what? what? <laughs> I've been watching and I've been practicing and you, you really have to hit that question. Yeah, we right? gotta we gotta like nail it. And right? the pitch has to you gotta rise get the pitch. You did yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. You, you did know. great. After so, three hours of practicing, yeah, I nailed exactly. it. There you go. There in you our go. office and we're like, all right, shut up. No, I'm just kidding. The first couple you're like, no. no. Again. Again. I'm like, again. say what? I'm like, <laughs> Oh, that yeah, would hit really it. be hilarious. Okay, so you have some <laughs> cool topics for us. Yeah. Take it off. So the first one we're talking about shopping and groceries. Every family out there, we've all experienced it. You go to check out and it's like 10 times what you thought it would be. Ah. Well, Target, they reported this week that their earnings are actually down for the quarter. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to figure out the strategy. Well, what can they do to get buyers back? And they are dropping the prices on five thousand items That's and these amazing. items are kind of like commodities it's things that people go to and the reason why is they want to get back some of the people that they had before right. that are shopping at other discount places like okay. Walmart all the things of that nature mm -hmm. so when it comes to this have you experienced this have you experienced you know I where mean, you kind of get like sticker shock at the end yes. when you get that receipt I, I admit that but I will say Target has a, a part of my heart so I'll always try but maybe I won't get certain things there you know what I mean yeah. depending on the price. I, you know, it's funny when you say Target, Target, yeah. some people say Target. As you age, I feel like it becomes like the thing to do. Yeah. So like, I hate to say this, but like on a Friday night, if I have a babysitter or something, my wife and I are there taking our time shopping. Uh -huh. That's what happens when you hit like the, the middle age. Well, you go in for one thing and you leave with $200. Always, or you stuff. walk in and there's a Starbucks right there. Oh, so well, like that's always. like the first stop. You're yeah, gonna make this an experience that. as you shop around and you might have 10 items on your list and you walk right. out with like 30, you know, yeah. so that's how it goes. But it's interesting though, you know, back to this study, Everybody now, they're price sensitive and they're shopping yeah. around. So it's no longer, you know, just what's in your neighborhood. Basically, you know, with the stats that they were showing in this article is that you mm -hmm. gotta price shop. You gotta, mm -hmm. you know, really get out there and, you know, yeah. see where everything's at. And that's why Target, they have to get competitive with yeah. their prices. I, I we're dual income, no kids. So for me, I have a little bit more wiggle room. I know you have some kids. So, some, you know, if you have kids, you got to be a little bit tighter with your budget. I yeah, think, you know? 100%. Yeah. And then, you know, a lot of times when you're walking around and you're shopping, a go to might be wine. And today, there's yes. a theme with wine. And yes. we always like to do some type of study to educate uh -huh. the viewers out there. And about 30 years ago, yeah. there were some scientists, maybe they were paid researchers, and they came to the conclusion that wine can be good for you because right. of some characteristics that they had in it. Make a long story short, as time went on and science got a little bit better, yeah. it turns out that it is not as good as people think. No. Yeah, so things like antioxidants, anti-inflammatory uh -huh. properties, what they thought was there, it's really not. Interesting. Yeah, and then the World Health Organization, earlier this year, they're like, there is absolutely no benefits to drinking any type of alcohol whatsoever. Okay. So I hate to say this, it's kind of a cheesy pun, but it's a buzzkill. Cheesy, too, because wine and cheese. Good I one. am so good. I just said buzzkill. I know. And wine and cheese, all in one, and Amazing. I didn't even realize nope. that I did that. Nope. Wow. You did. Wow. It's like just jumping on a bike with you, right? You're back it, it on the really bike. Is. It really doing is. great. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't have a TikTok, but you have some info about TikTok. Yeah, and, and it sounds like, you know, oh, well, you're cool. You, you got a TikTok. Well, it's because of my kids, and I have to monitor what they do. You know, there's like helicopter parents. There you go. I, I'm definitely one of them. So it's interesting, you know, TikTok. You know, especially during COVID, the numbers just yeah. really started to rise. People jumped on it. People were, you know, learning how to do different crafts or whatever it might be, right? The average person that is a TikTok user is on it for about an hour a day, mm. right? So that, think about that. It's all bite-sized media. So there's right. only about, you know, 10, 15 second clips. Well, TikTok, they're going head to head with YouTube now and they want to change up the format. So they huh. want to have it where now you can watch it for an hour. So an actual so hour broadcast but like one video is an one hour? video, yeah. But they're not going to get rid of the short snippets. They're I still going to have those, and I feel you like have they those have kids to. who do the dances. One hundred percent. Well, now you can have an <laughs> hour. I you know it's kind of cool. I'm learning a lot about you. Keeps coming back to the dancing part. And of that sucks. Right? If I was in the Olympics, I'm not winning anything with this. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you will. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. We'll workshop it. Okay. We'll workshop right, it. Maybe we'll throw in some like break dancing. Listen, if you know any TikTok dances, just show me. I don't. I, right. But maybe it's something that we work on. You know. But I, I, I think that once. You know, the Olympics comes around. I yeah. bet you with TikTok, one of the trends oh. will be breakdancing news. One, yeah, it's, it's got to be. Breakdancing the news. Ooh. Is that what you just said? Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we'll come up with something. Who I'll knows? leave that to the experts. Yeah, okay. Well, to kick off.